Hi everyone, we're the Paths. I'm Hello. Eddie. I'm Raina. Welcome to Couples Talk. We're excited to get started. We're gonna tell you a little bit about us because this is the first episode and it's live. So go ahead, Raina. Okay, my name is um, Raina. I am uh, a mother and a wife. I have three kids. Well, we have three kids, I guess. Three kids. We have, three we kids have three. together. Um, our son is five. And then our daughters are two and a half and two, no, three and a half and two. And they're about 18 months apart. So it can get a little crazy with two girls. So, <laughs> and our son is definitely all boy. Yeah. So, yeah, all boy. Definitely. All boy. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we've been married 10 years this year. So, after this year, gotta start counting on my toes to remember how many years we've been married. So April, we've been together ten years. Pretty excited about that. Big anniversary, big milestone. Yeah, we're gonna do something special, something nice, just the two of us. We haven't really done much for our anniversary, um, because of school and kids and finances and such. So we're excited to do something rather, rather big this year. Yeah, we're thinking about a cruise. Yeah. If all goes well, we're going to take a cruise. Yeah, three-day cruise, just a long weekend. A Disney cruise. <laughs> because nothing's as happily ever after like Disney. And we're a big Disney family, so lots of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and princesses and uh, mm -hmm. what else? Stitch and all Star things. Wars. So. Any, everything Disney. Yeah. It's, it's a big deal. So. I also... Um, have my bachelor's in psychology. I'm a master's in school counseling. So I'm right now looking for a school counseling job. I love working with students. Um, one of my biggest passions is just working with kids and students and helping them, especially those in high school, be readily prepared for college and, and learn the life goals and life skills that they need to make that transition. So Sorry, still trying to figure all this stuff out. <laughs> so, yeah. I am currently a printing press operator. Sounds exciting, it is. I get to, I make plastic bags. Well, I don't make the bags, I print on it. So if you ever get something in the mail that's white on the inside and gray on the outer, no, gray on the outside, inside, white on the out, it's got printing on it, I might have made it, big possibility. We make a lot of stuff, make lots of part bags. If you ever go to like Lowe's or Home Depot, all the itty bitty part bags, we make tons of those. Not only go into detail on who we make for, because not a lot, that'd be bad. But we make bags for just about everything. Did lots of bags, lots of parts bags, lots of cosmetic bags, medical bags, everything. I also have a bachelor's in practical ministry from a tiny Bible college in Concord, North Carolina called FIRE. I'm excited about that in 2017. Looks like there's some possible opportunities that are going to be opening. Actually, there are some opportunities. We can't talk about it yet because it's not time. That will be later. In a few months, we'll be able to talk more about some exciting opportunities that we're super excited about for 2017 that God is really opening up doors for us that we're super, super, super excited about. Yeah, I feel like we've been – we transition every couple of years, and we hope that – from here on out with after this transition that we can kind of settle down for a we're, little bit. We're done. We moved a lot. <laughs> that was, this is more information we'll get into with you guys talk a little bit about more yeah. about the journey God has had us on for the last 10 years has been a very interesting journey. Lots of ups and downs, lots yeah. of moves. We are excellent at packing. So people call us to help. Like we impress people. They're like, we can't fit all this. Like, trust me. I see what you got. It'll fit in the truck. Just get out of the way. I'll help you organize it. We got this. Yeah, I love organizing. I love getting things so in fun. order. <laughs> and um, I, I think it, it also helps that uh, my passion for um, and something that I enjoy doing recreationally is um, puzzles and scrapbooking. So um, putting a puzzle together or even how to organize a puzzle together in, in a box truck or in a house is something that I do very fairly well. You do. And I do custom Legos. Some of you guys, if you're tuning in, maybe not watch this live, maybe watch it later. 
I have a second YouTube page and Instagram account called Brick Rod Garage where I do custom Lego vehicles and just a bunch of random stuff and do different videos. We'll actually have that in our liked videos. So if you guys are ever interested in seeing my other page or her other YouTube page she does, we'll have that under our like videos that you guys can check that out and see more of what we do. But this was our way of coming together as a couple to share with you guys what God's doing with us, life with three kids, and from the way it sounds outside our door, one of those three kids could come in at any minute. But yeah. life with three kids is crazy, but God has really blessed us and given us a different direction, like I said, this for this next year, and we're super, super, super excited about that. Yeah, my 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 page is um, Oily Queen. Uh, I've been researching about essential oils for uh, about a year and a half, and I finally... Um, looked into and finally purchased a premier starter kit with Young Living. I wanted to just have happy, healthy, a little bit more organic, I guess, way of taking care of things in the house and as far as cleaning and and um, health ways. So I purchased a kit and I fell in love. So then I started looking at the business side the next month and started working the business side. So that's been a definitely a, a different transition and a different journey for us. And I absolutely love it. I hoping that this business will provide just kind of extra spending money, vacation money. And, um, as well as we really want to support a lot of our missionary friends out there and, be such a big blessing to them so that my oil business will, will provide that as well. Um, and it has been um, amazing learning about each and every oil and how it can better fit, benefit not only our family, but something that we can share with other families and um, our extended family and our family friends and mm -hmm. everyone out there. So we're excited to tell you and share more of our story and more reasons why we use essential oils and what we use essential oils for. So mm -hmm. this platform will provide um, another way for us to share that with you guys. And if you ever have any questions, just comment below and we would love to answer them and help you out as we learn and grow more about um, essential oils and life as a couple with three kids and, and now, our journey. Now guys, if you're tuning into this and you're hearing her talk about essential oils, you're like, <laughs> no. Cause that's how I was. She's like, oh, we started getting a couple. She started she's like, I'm going to order it. I keep seeing all these people we're talking about. I'm like, look, I don't really care if that's what you want. Fine. It's a bunch of hippie crap that this, I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion on what I thought about essential oils. This is my exact word. I'm like, it's a bunch of hippie crap. I want nothing to do with it, but I am a good husband. So go for it. At the time I was working nights and mm -hmm. she's like, I had heard about this oil. I want you to try it. I'm like, no. Mm -mm. She's like, what do you have to lose? It's called peace and calming too. You just put a little behind your ears and it's supposed to help you fall asleep faster. I'm like, whatever. I'm exhausted. Just put it on me so I can go to bed. That was literally our conversation. I got home from work, got out of the shower. I'm like, just put it on behind my ears so I can go to bed. I'm tired. I really don't care right now. If this will let me go to sleep and the conversation can end about this. <laughs> that was, just be honest with you guys. This, this is how it started. Just put it behind my ears. And now we were staying with my parents at the time. And our kids literally had a room above where I was sleeping. Above. Above. And they were free. If you know, if you guys have been around kids or have kids, you know, when they are small, they definitely are not quiet. Or have sounds, a hard time trying to be quiet. Yeah, they're kids. It's, yeah. it's the middle of the day. You can't expect it to be quiet at nine o'clock in the morning. They're wound up. <laughs> Most times it sounds like a herd of elephants jumping above my head. She woke me up a couple hours later. She's like, I am so sorry about the kids. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, you didn't hear the kids? I'm like, no. She's like, so I guess the oil worked. Yeah. So after that, I'm like, okay. Let's get some more of these oils. Let's. That's when she got her starter kit after that. And we're like, all right, I'm on board on this. This stuff works. Well, and we also used it on the kids. Yeah. I put lavender on their feet to help them sleep. And they were sleeping longer and more peacefully. And they weren't always cranky in the morning if they had a, a rough night's sleep because they're, they're teething. They're, 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 kids, they're still going to be cranky in the morning. It's not a cure-all. 
they weren't as helping. cranky in the morning. Some were, they were waking up a little bit more, having a little bit more peaceful sleep. And the lavender was very soothing. And they even put it in their bath time mm -hmm. ritual or schedule. Mm -hmm. And it uh, definitely helped them sleep better. So Absolutely. So now we use it constantly. And it's been nice. Our girls sometimes sleep till 830, which it's is just, a big, big deal, especially at their age. So. <laughs> So yeah, it's definitely said I wasn't on board, but as soon as I tried peace and calming too. So ladies, you have a husband for trying to get your husband on board with oils and they work nights or even just work in general. I still use it and I don't work nights anymore, mm -hmm. but a little behind my ears and I sleep a lot better. That's the trick. Get your husband on board. You got to find the oil that he's going to benefit from. Now oils affect different people, different ways. Peace and calming too, though, for me, if you got a husband that works nights, got to sleep during the day, or if you're a woman that works nights, anybody that works nights, peace and calming too. If you want to try an oil, that lavender or thieves, thieves is really good too for cleaning and health, all sorts of stuff. But we'll get into more of that immune system. Immune system. We'll get more into those later. So this this episode is more of getting to know us, our story, who we are, and why we have chose essential oils to be a part of our lives as a family. So we both are on board now, really, really pushing this because why wouldn't you want to be your family to be happier and healthier and sleep better, especially if you have kids? That's parents' number one complaint. My kid doesn't sleep. <laughs> Try essential oils. It'll help. Put a little it lavender. Definitely would have been nicer to oh. when we had our first child, I Eddie. Wish. He was he was pretty good until he started teething, and so helping him be a little more calming and relaxing and be able to sleep through um, those teething times would have been helpful. It so is. our kids won't go to bed without oils. Like if we tuck them in bed and we forget, they're like, you forgot to get oils on our feet. Oh, you're right. Got to get those on their feet. So you so. run downstairs, get the roller, roll it on their feet and they're happy. It calms them down. And I put stress away and lavender together. So, you know, mm -hmm. it lets them un helps them unwind um, for the evening as well. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's definitely been um, a huge staple. And we're going to post more of this. This is our first official video, first episode of Couple Sock. We're excited about it. We're going to be, it's not, and just so you guys know, this is not always going to be focused on oils. We're going to have different yeah. videos on oils. This is, this is about us, our family, our journey. We're going to share our vacation adventures with three, traveling with three kids, which is always a great time for everyone. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Afternoon, I'm a little tired. Yeah. She didn't get her nap. No, I didn't get my nap. Anyways, so this is our first video. Comment below. Tell us what you guys would like to see. Or if you have questions about essential oils, please, please, we're here to help you. We may not have the answers. We'll find the answer. We can get you to the best of our knowledge or find somebody that can answer that question for you. We're super excited. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, especially comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you want to see. Until next time, I'm Eddie. I'm Raina. And we're the Paps. Thanks for watching.